Hey everybody, welcome back to Electrical Power and Control. Today we're going to look at one of our uh, rental panels that we've just got done building, but I wanted to go over some of the just general maintenance areas for you. are going to look at some of uh, the insulators, the conductors, breaker fit, and make sure for good insertion. So uh, today we're actually going to be looking at what's known as the good, the bad, and the ugly in the electrical industry. Stay tuned. All right, now let's jump right in. I'm going to go back where we told you earlier this is a rental panel. Uh, we're going to look in this rental panel. It's a distribution panel, one of my favorites, uh, Square D I-Line. We're going to look inside of it and look at a couple of key points. Just going to loosen the latches here. We've custom made this door to where it actually swings out of the way instead of having to pull the screws out of a dead front just for ease. But what we're going to look at is a couple of things today. We're going to look at the insulators, areas that you would want to really concentrate on if you're opening the panel say you're the guy that's a service guy and you have to put another breaker in or take a breaker out and swap it and change the circuit out you want to be able to put your eyes on it do a good inspection and a good cleaning so cleaning doesn't happen that often but when it does you need to be aware of the the, the, the components inside so let's look at a few of those one of them is obvious it's the it's the red insulator board here that actually this separates the copper bus the conductors in between you see that little silver bar right there that's your conductor and what that does that actually fits into your eyeline jaws right here so we'll put that one back in there we'll get into that a little bit more in a minute but after you get the conductors, what we like to do, we'll take uh, alcohol, denatured alcohol. Uh, you don't want to use an oily base solvent because you don't want to leave a residue on there because it could flash over. But we'll take rec clean rags and alcohol in a bucket and basically back the breakers out and then we'll start cleaning the insulators. And then we'll go to the conductors, we'll wipe them, but then we'll come back and see if there's any rough spots, like smooth your finger, you run your finger across it clean any debris off of that, degrease it, and then you might hit it with a little bit of scotch bright to shine it up. You can see this one is in good condition because it's a rental ready to go, uh, but the because we've already polished the bus bar, we've already cleaned all of the, the red board, we've even made sure down here, your red board here, you want this free of debris, always, but you can see nice shiny conductors, you can see this one's a three phase four wire, we say four wire because it, it does have your neutral installs you can see a neutral bar there but a quick visual not quick like you check a box but a just a simple walkthrough just being conscious and aware of what it should like look like when it's in good condition this panel overall i know because we've cleaned it and prepped it it's clean it's ready for service next would be the breakers the breakers in this one this is an example of one that's not so clean it's not so good but we'll get to him in just a minute so let's uh let's let's do that we'll get some of some of the examples we can bring on and show you some of the not so good components okay now we've looked at the good and the clean and everything but now let's look a little bit closer into some of the things that have been neglected or maybe that have been overlooked this one right here this puppy is nasty um, he was not inserted all the way it's obviously it's for demo but this one's not inserted all the way because one it's not locked down with a retainer screw a little screw there that holds it in place secondly that foot is in bad condition of course we repair these if you need repair we can help you with that but the foot it's not only rusted nasty it's very loose and that could affect the alignment uh, and also it could affect how it mounts and locks into the panel Moving on, the lugs where the cable connections go for your load side of the breaker. They're really nasty, um, corroded, and just, just nasty. They need to be cleaned, lubricated, recleaned, and exercised. It just doesn't take long. It's the little things that if you let them build up, you end up having something that looks like this. So just extremely, it's a housekeeping thing. You know, somebody had to have seen this. It should have been cleaned before it was ever put in. Uh, the jaws, what we call the crown section. That's where the jaws are that actually mount onto the silver conductor inside the panel. That's where they made up and connect to the line power. These, too much grease, way too much grease. It's, more is not always better when it comes to grease. So, a lot, clean it off, alcohol, clean it give it a good housekeeping and then reapply a good I use a red GE grease I like that stuff thin coat goes a long way 
and then reinsert it make sure it slides in and out of there properly and then don't forget to install your retainer screw as well so that leans more towards the bad and let me show you a little bit about one of our insulators that we've taken out of one of them this is the the piece this was not maintained this was not clean um, some may disagree and say well it, it took a sh shot because the breaker overloaded could be true but still was never cleaned and it actually ran for a while in this condition this is the back piece insulator that goes against the frame if you look real close where all this tracking and where it flashed out you can see it's starting to kind of fiber down it's getting really brittle this would not be something you want to run your panel so if you ever find yourself needing those we have piles of this stuff and we also repair the panels too so that i would debate it probably was a breaker fault but when breakers look like this one does and it's in panel like this you're going to have problems so that's something you just want to pay attention to i'll show you a couple more of them that uh progressively have gotten you can see where this one has arced out it's just went to ground it's just went straight down the ground and popped over so you've had issues here wasn't maintained wasn't taken care of uh, i'll show you the one that w w this will be the granddaddy if you will this is the we went from good and bad now we're going to look at the really ugly this one took a direct hit I don't know if you can see that very well but you can see where this thing tracked all the way across this is the insulator portion there shouldn't be power on this outer sleeve this was off of a magna blast of 13.8 uh, a medium voltage class that uh, right around covid time we had an explosion they were running around in circles they couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work well that was a good indicator that was our first clue why it wasn't working but uh, poor housekeeping in the whole facility when we went in there was just debris everywhere it was a very not very well kept up so maintenance inspections nobody wants their machines to be down but if you don't take time and plan for preventive maintenance you're going to see stuff like this popping up and you're going to lose a lot more time and spend a lot more money so hopefully this helps you uh, with uh, just a general light housekeeping and just being aware of what you've got and the components you're working with hope this helps uh, just give us a shout out if we can help thanks so much and god bless